There's a hundred people standing in a room. Chances are that only one of them are a reflector. They're very different kinds of beings, reflectors. I think one of the things that most reflectors really don't grasp is how profound their relationship, deeply profound their relationship is to the moon itself. You know, I'm asked so many times by reflectors, well, when does the lunar cycle begin for me? Everything about human design and about the strategy and authority of human design begins with and ends with the decision-making process. At the moment that any reflector is meeting stimulation, in the moment that something is coming towards the reflector, something that's going to demand a decision in regards to the this and the that, that it's then, at that moment, that their lunar cycle begins. The reflector is a sampler. They're here to take in a whole series of consecutive stimuli in order to get to that place where they have their true authority and to make decisions as themselves. What's so fascinating to me about the existence of reflectors in our plane is that they are the only ones that truly can tell who's in and out of the program. That is really quite something that the reflector is the only being that can recognize those that don't fit in to the program, like the ancient shaman being able to walk up to the parents of a newborn and say, this one, this one is mine because this one will not fit into your world, but will fit into mine. Reflectors have an extraordinary gift, but it's so important to understand how deeply connected you are to the moon itself. When those moments come in your life, when the decision has to be made, that's the starting point, the starting point of following the moon. Follow the moon, find your purpose.